Peter Buswell here with DrVOIP.com with a tech tip on Shortel as a virtual machine. Those of you who are unfamiliar with uh, virtual machines, it's not a, my intent to have a presentation on VMware or the vSphere solution, but I'm going to point out that as the host system for your Shortel phone system. So <clears throat> I'm going to be showing you VMware, show you Shortel under a virtual machine. I'll also show you how to move a physical machine to a virtual machine. In our uh, demonstration, we'll be using a, a Dell 1950 with dual 2.3 gig processor, 16K of RAM, and dual one terabyte hard drives. Uh, you'll need to download vSphere, VMXI, uh, you can download it from uh, the VMware site. It's a, um, a free trial for 60 days and then you get a very inexpensive license. And you'll also want to get a copy of vSphere Converter, which is the magical piece of software we use to go from physical to vir virtual. Uh, we're going to build a virtual host and load a vSphere client. So at the end of the day, if you look over here, um, you have a host machine. This runs the vSphere VMXI. And on top of this, you can run a number of different virtual machines or guest machines. This is the host. This is the guest. The guest could be a Linux machine, a Windows machine. And of course, that means it could be a Shortel machine. I happen to be running Shortel and Cisco Call Manager um, on a virtual machine. Now, once that's accomplished, you use the vSphere client to um, interface and uh, operate the host or to see the virtual machines here. That's done on this uh, client. So let's go ahead and take a look at um, the virtual where. So let's take a look at uh, vSphere. Once again, uh, you are on a remote desktop running the vSphere client and you're talking to the host machine that's virtualizing your various guest machines of which you can have Windows, Linux, uh, several choices for operating systems. So your virtual machines are up here. Let's, I am already logged in uh, through the vSphere client uh, to this address. You'll see that I've got um, several uh, virtual machines installed. I don't have all of them running at this time. Uh, again, this is not a tutorial on vSphere. I just want to show you some basics so you can see how we got the Shortel headquarters server here. So if I go ahead and click on this virtual machine, this one is in fact running. I will uh, right click on the uh, icon here and say that I want to send oops, on, send a control all delete and we'll, we'll log in here and at that point uh, we're logged into a machine that's actually virtualized I just want you to see the short hell is in fact running I'm going to go ahead and put this puppy in a um, full screen mode so this is a virtual machine this is going to have to take my word for it I guess looks like any other machine but here's a Shortel down here and as you can see it's a um, brand new installation don't know how to log into Shortel, you probably should be looking at this video. And you'll see here that we have build 16.5.8508. It's the recent version of uh, control release Shortel 11. So that's, uh, it's a brand new install. I haven't even set anything up. Go to users, you'll see that it's uh, still requires some attention but it's up and running on a virtual machine that's what's uh, 
that's what's important. So uh, I also have um, some Windows uh, machines installed here. And the reason I have the XP machines installed uh, is to enable me to run some um, Come on, go to full screen mode. Allow me to run some clients. So you're going to want to run your Shortel uh, client on here. Actually, on this computer, I have the Cisco IP communicator uh, running. And um, clearly, there's a lot of capability in here. And uh, it enables you to bring these machines up. What I find especially interesting is the fact that. Uh, with this uh, Shortel server, uh, I can bring up some desktops, do my installation, do my testing. And the beauty of this virtualization is I can actually move this virtual machine image while it's running to another computer. So uh, um, the impact for, virt for virtualization on business continuity and uh, disaster recovery is an enormous contribution. So that's a quick overview of the uh, virtualization of Shortel.